It's the NFL on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Pats and the Silver and Black. All that and more coming up next. Now from a field that will host Super Bowl 58 come February, there's a good look inside Allegiant Stadium just off the 15 here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one as it'll be the New England Patriots taking on the Las Vegas Raiders. With you from Vegas, I'm Brandon Gordon. To my left is Charles Davis. A CD changing times with this Raiders organization. Gone after nine years is Derek Carr, the franchise's all-time passing leader. And in steps Jimmy Garoppolo. And what we know about Jimmy Garoppolo, what we've seen on display, is what I call breezy confidence. He's able to distribute the ball to a good runner and guys out wide, and teams adopt his attitude, and they play and perform at a high level for him. Meanwhile, for the Patriots, they come in off an 8-9 record a year ago, a second losing season in the last three. It had to happen sometime. But you say don't pour water on these pads just yet. <laughs> no, not at all. No one should ever do that. Remember, they're always going to be tough for you to crack defensively. Offensively is where they have to make a jump. They've got to start scaring people with some big play weapons on the perimeter. And we are underway here in Las Vegas. Here comes Montgomery now to return it. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. Well, the Patriots offense set to go to work with Mac Jones at quarterback in his third season now out of Alabama. It was a much rockier season for Jones in his second year and even had to survive a brief challenge to his starting job. This is a big campaign for the former Rookie of the Year runner-up. He wants to get back to Pro Bowl form in this one. Jones looking to throw right away. That's caught by his big tight end, Mike Kosicki. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. The game's first play produces six yards, brings up second down. Throwing Jones. Complete, Hunter Henry with the grab. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here, third and five. But looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book at him. They were there, and they tackled him for a loss. Now Jones. And he is caught, and past the 40 before he's out of bounds. It'll be a Patriot first down on a pickup of 16. Well, a three and out to start the game would have been a real disappointment, so this is a nice job of finding something you think will work and executing it. And they're able to keep this opening drive going. Now a man who played at Centennial High here in Las Vegas, Ramondre Stevenson. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. Well, if you're the team that has the ball, you're loving this series. No matter what you're dialing up in the air, on the ground, you're getting big-time chunks of yardage. And right now, they've got that defense wobbling. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory. Down at the 31. They run once more with Stevenson. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Second down and six now. Off the play fake. Jones going for it all. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. You get a sense of what this game plan might be. They think they can take a few home run shots against this defense. 
They tried it there on the opening drive, but that ball's incomplete. They got to get it to the 21 here on third down. Back to throw. Jones. Open man, Smith Schuster. It's complete. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And the pocket's been protected pretty good here so far on the opening drive. We always talk about confidence in runners and catchers and quarterbacks. How about the protection detail? They're not allowing anyone near the guy throwing the football. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Straight ahead at Stevenson. And all the way down inside the five to the four. 46 yards rushing for him here. What a start to the ball game. It's first and goal. That O-line, they cleared a big hole there on that run. The athleticism of offensive lines continues to evolve, and we're seeing it here. Not only are they controlling things right at the line of scrimmage, but they're able to get upfield to get to what we call the second and the third levels. You know, get to the linebacker spot, the secondary spot getting all the way downfield with their blocking, which helps keep the running back clean. They'll try to continue that trend here this afternoon. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Good first step there defensively, but they're still knocking on the doorstep, so maybe another run here? I think so. One of my favorite coaches used to say, son, if you could darn near lay down near the end zone and get in, <laughs> give me my best power running play with my best back right now. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. They'll wind up losing three, and now it's third down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers and brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. Kendrick Bourne from six yards away. And the Patriots are on the board first here in Vegas. That was a big throw right there on third and goal. And the defense has to be prepared for you to throw the ball on third and goal. Because really, second down, second and goal, that's your play action time. And you're not sure whether they're going to run it or throw it. Third down, you're usually sure they're probably going to pass it. Even more impressive that they got it done and on the opening drive of the game. Extra point by Ryland up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. out is the kicker Ryland and he'll send this one away DeAndre Carter returning it and they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30 the Raiders offense heading out with their new man under center for 2023 the former Patriot former 49er Jimmy Garoppolo it was another typical season for Jimmy G last year. When he was out there, he was excellent, leading the 49ers to seven wins and throwing four times as many touchdowns as interceptions. Then the injury bug bit again. But Las Vegas, they're counting on him being able to do the exact same thing they saw in San Francisco, but avoiding injury while doing so. And Garoppolo going to lead the Raiders up here first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. A first carry for the All-Pro running back is Josh Jacobs. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. Ball on the 36 now. Here's second and a couple. They fake the give. Now Garoppolo looks to throw. That's caught by Myers. And he's going to be shoved out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. It's a big play there for Vegas. 52 yards. Just a breakdown there defensively. It looked like someone got their wires crossed because no one seemed to pick him up at all. He's running free, and there's not a quarterback in the league who's going to miss that throw. That's a huge play. 
real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Jacobs going to try the middle. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. That one good for 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. Some good strong running right there. Some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. Keep in mind, they can still get a first down here as they come up on second and inches. Once again, it's Jacobs. And he's over the line and in for a Raider touchdown. Josh Jacobs taking it in from two yards out. And the Raiders respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. Well, that was a quick drive. The passing game set it up, and then the running game finishes it off. And how about how few plays it was to get it done, but they threw it downfield and then pounded it into the end zone. And as a former defender, I can tell you, it hurts just a little bit more when they run it into the end zone instead of throwing it. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And we are tied at seven. away here comes Montgomery now to return it and taken down just past the 20 at about the 21 yard line so back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive Stevenson now on first and ten. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. The rookie Tyree Wilson, a first-round pick, there to bring him down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle. That's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends. They're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. No surprise at all. They're looking for the big man early in this one. The only surprise for them, he couldn't hang on to the pass. An incomplete pass on second down. It muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. Looking to throw. Jones. And he is caught by Smith-Schuster. Uh, he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. Really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought... Yeah, he might be locked in for this one. Meanwhile, Jones throw, take it in by Bourne. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. They'll try the left side with Stevenson. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. From the 43, here's second and five. Back to throw. Jones. He'll look to Gesicki on the out route. Ball is caught. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. 
Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Had the offense humming on the first drive. Not much has changed here on drive number two. No, and I think a lot of times confidence just really kicks in for a team. They may have been confident going into the game, but once you prove it on a drive, it's hard to get out of that mindset, isn't it? And look, let's face it, we can always lock in on the skill position, guys. But those big fellas up front, they're really making this offense go early in the game. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. And that's the type of play that'll fire up a defense, hold them to one yard on a first down run. It'll be interesting to see if the offense decides to press the run at all or if they'll abandon it now after gaining only one on that play. Jones to throw on second down. And this complete to Henry over the middle. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And now that sets up third and two. Looking to throw. Jones. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders 14. Give him 10 yards on that one, and that earns him a fresh set of downs. I know this may be jumping the gun a little bit, but 7-7, seven to seven, they're flinging it around like crazy. Look at the drive that's going on here. Partner, we may have to start thinking about one of these defenses just holding someone to a field goal and maybe trying to get advantage that way. Now Jones throwing on first down. And a dangerous throw there, incomplete. He threw that into coverage. It was nearly intercepted. And I think he was a little surprised to see the ball sitting out there like that. That's a ball he had a chance to come away with, but it winds up an incomplete pass. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. Well, the gap man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. Now that Patriot sideline not happy with what just transpired, and they're going to throw out the challenge flag. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. After review of the play, so not successful there on the challenge, and he'll have to be careful from here on out because he'll only have one challenge remaining. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Again, he'll drop to throw. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. And here you're down in the red zone. You need to be smart, not force anything. So that's a wise decision to just get rid of the football. And his kick is right there. It's good. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. So they've put together a good little drive there, but ultimately stalling out in the red zone. Yeah, I know a lot of people look at it as a little bit of a negative. They didn't get six points out of it, right? Didn't get the touchdown. But that's actually okay. They got three points. Able to give their defense a little bit of rest. Let them settle down over there. So all in all to me, that's a good drive. So after the field goal, Ryland back out as he'll send this one away. Here's Carter now on the return. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. On 
first down, Garoppolo. Catch is made by Hunter Renfro. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and it'll be second down. straight ahead is Jacobs and that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started that's going to go down as a loss of five and it brings up third down every year I go to the combine to marvel at the speeds that linebackers are running nowadays they run like DBs and let's face it they know how to finish plays too eyes up head up run right through them on play action it's Garoppolo and the throw there going to be incomplete We've got ourselves a ball game, and those guys on defense, they came to play. Slipped up on their first series, but they're definitely settling in now and letting it be known that points won't come so easy again. So on fourth down, here's A.J. Cole to punt for the Raiders. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Patriots take over. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. And that to the 30, it'll be second down. Not a lot of running room there, not a place to make a cut and kind of exit out because they had everything bottled up. Looked to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases. Here's second and seven. In motion right goes Smith-Schuster. Now fake on the jet sweep, and they'll instead run up the middle. And he'll slip his way up across the 30 to the 32. And now a pause. It looks like we have a Patriot injured on the play. We'll take a break and get a report from Vegas after this. Third and five. Back to throw. Jones. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. They had points on their first two possessions, a touchdown and a field goal, but this time, defense stands strong. Would you say that things maybe are trending now in the right direction for them? Better than drives one and two. There's no doubt about it. Now maybe they can exhale a little bit, gather themselves, and really get back into this game. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. The offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. On play action, now Garoppolo. He gets this to Devontae Adams. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. 23 yards, the final tally. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. 10-7 our score after one right here on EA Sports. Second quarter from Vegas. The homestanding Raiders with a football here as they've got it with a first and 10. Now a play fake. Garoppolo. That is incomplete. As defensive coordinators around the league tell me all the time, 
that throw is not for every quarterback because you've really got to drive the ball downfield. It's going to be a tight window for him to fit that one into. In this case, unsuccessfully. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Throwing now is Garoppolo. And his throw is going to be incomplete. I know tight ends love this route because a lot of times they'll fake a block first and get a little bit of space and then come across the middle because in their mind, they're thinking catch the ball and then drop the hammer on the little guys in the secondary. Unable to drop the hammer, he just dropped the pass. Play action, Garoppolo. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 40. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 right at the 40. On the handoff, this is Jacobs. He'll get this down to the 38. The stoppage here following the play, and it looks like Josh Jacobs was shaken up and in need of some assistance. We'll take a break and get a report from Vegas after this. From the 38 now, here comes second and eight. Garoppolo now. Open man right side, Myers. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 28. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. First down, here's White. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play. Second down. Second and seven. Here's Garoppolo to throw. It's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Offense is all over, continue to be aggressive, and most people never turn down a shot at a deep ball, but oftentimes it attracts a little bit of extra attention, and it did on that play, and that one got knocked away. An eight-play drive to this point, so here's play number nine on third and seven. Garoppolo looks to throw. is going to be incomplete. Fine work by the Patriot D there, and it's fourth down. Like what I see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. A 41-yard attempt. Carlson able to put this one through, and that will not us up at 10. So in the end, they had the ball for 10 plays, but the drive gets them three, not six. Is it okay if I give credit to both sides on this one? Absolutely. All right, let's start defensively. They hung in there. 10-play drive, but they stiffened when they got close to the goal line, made them kick a field goal for the offense. 10-play drive. They might be a little disappointed they got a field goal, but they moved the ball down the field with dispatch and came away with points. as the kick's away. Here comes Montgomery now to return it. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Another go around now for the Patriot offense.
Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at their own 27. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Short pass caught by Henry. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender. But the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. From the 35, here's second and two. They'll try the right side with Elliott. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. Partner, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get them. Showed that he's got the fresh legs, and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for them. Show them that you're supposed to get the football. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Off the bootleg, Jones. Now a short one to Gesicki, and he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. Just need a yard here, second and one. Inside give to Elliott, and he'll get it down here to the 43. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive linemen said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs, and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. Here's Jones on first down. Now a short one to Gesicki, and he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. So the completion results there in nine yards, and that'll give them a short yardage situation here for second down. Up the middle, here's Alley. Dances by him, and this time not quite to the 30. He'll be down at the 31-yard line. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there, pick up the first down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They keep on the ground with Elliott. To the 27-yard line. Second and six. Looking to throw. Jones. Now a short one to Gesicki. It'll be a gain of five. And now one yard to go on third down. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. Ninth play coming up here on this drive. This is third and a yard. Operating from the gun. Jones. He'll find Smith Schuster. That's complete. And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. So he'll be stopped here for no gain. And that'll bring up fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage. And he will have the first down across the 20 to the 19-yard line. I love those plays. Fourth and one. That's who wants it more this time the offense. Yeah, there's a lot of hooting and hollering in there, right? A lot of contact and a lot of collisions as they try and find some space. Who's going to drop their hips, gain leverage, and move the other side backwards? We saw it there for the offense getting it done. Jones now on first and ten and hitting Juju on the slant. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that'll make it second down. What terrifies defenses when they see slant routes thrown is that the receiver is on the move, and oftentimes he catches it and gets upfield. That's a really nice job rallying to him and stopping him for a minimal game. Second and five. 
Here's Ty Montgomery, former star in nearby Stanford. And he's going to get about four down inside the 10 to the 9. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. Throwing Jones. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And the Patriots are going to be set up with a first and goal as they get the conversion there on third and inches. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. Now Jones. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. Jerry Tillery running in there and setting him down. First and goal looked like things were set up nicely, and now all of a sudden on second and goal, Charles, a big challenge ahead of them. And you have to know when you're this close to the goal line, things are going to happen faster, so you've got to get the ball out quick. Not going to have much time in the pocket before the defenders bring pressure. There's Henry. Touchdown, Patriots. Hunter Henry. An 11-yard touchdown. And the Patriots have taken the lead. And he is a reliable target. They like to get him involved. They got him involved there for the score. And they should. He's a very good player. Remember, they can use him in certain positions, so many different spots, and he usually comes through for them. Now Ryland for the PAT. He's got it as they go up by a total of 17 to 10. That drive, a long one, spanning 15 plays. And it ends with a New England touchdown. The Ryland now following the touchdown, back out to kick it away. DeAndre Carter now from his end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The Raiders offense now making their way back out onto the field. They find themselves down 17-10 as they come up on a first and 10. to throw. It's Garoppolo. A dump off for Abdullah. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And it'll be second down. Now that's the type of play that gives you a chance to win. Nothing forced downfield where you don't have a guy open. Swing it out to the back. On maybe even check it down. Whatever you want to call it. Gain of five. You're just trying to get four on first down. They're ahead of the chains now. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. And his throw is incomplete. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. This offense so far on third down, just one for three thus far. This will be third and five. To throw is Garoppolo. Looking deep for Adams. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. On fourth down, A.J. Cole comes on to punt. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. 
call that a 44-yard punt, five on the return. Mac Jones of the Patriot offense getting set to go once again. He had the touchdown pass on the last drive, his second of this first half, as he'll try again on first down here. Throwing to start the drive. Jones. Open man is born. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open, that makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. Line of scrimmage, the 43 on second and four. Back to throw. Jones, his throw incomplete. Timing's crucial in any route thrown, but when you throw an out, so many things are going through the mind of the receiver. Catching the ball, timing it up with the quarterback. Are my feet going to get down inbounds? On that play, all those things going through his head might have caused him to drop it. Jones from the gun on third down. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 18 big yards on that one and a New England first down. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Back to throw again. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Normally, you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well, incomplete. Here's second and 10. They'll look to throw again. That was short one to Gesicki. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. from the gun. Jones. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had it and dropped it. That is an unforced error there and it takes away what could have been a touchdown. Oh, I don't know if he's sensing contact to come or what, but that's a ball he'd love to have back. That could have gone for big yardage, but it just didn't want to stay in his hands. That's a tough break. Running with Elliott. And I'm not sure he got there. Did they stop him? They did. Ezekiel Elliott not able to get it past the marker. And the Raider D, they get the football back. And defensively, they were ready for that. A full-on blitz on fourth down, and they stop him short of the marker. Oh, and someone's got to feel really good about that, and that's the defensive coordinator. He dialed up a great run blitz defense, and they hit it just right. Stack that thing up. They're going to feel awesome going to the bench after that big play. Throwing on first is Garoppolo. Caught on the right side by Adams. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two.
Garoppolo hustling him back to the line now. Now Garoppolo throwing on second. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. So the sack of Garoppolo, and now what can they come up with on third and long? They'll go up the middle with White. And he'll be brought down at the 34, well short of the first down marker. Here's A.J. Cole now to punt this one away. That's taken on the 25. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The Pats going to get one final possession in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. A little under 30 seconds to go. We'll see how they play it here on first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Jones. And a dangerous throw there on the drop-off. Incomplete, nearly intercepted. Well, he certainly didn't like what he saw at all from the coverage on his primary reads, and he didn't even have any luck trying to get back to his safety valve. Give defense a credit. Coverage was in lockdown mode everywhere. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Off play action. Jones. And his throw is going to be incomplete. This time they stay on the ground. And he'll get this to the 40, but that's still going to be a few yards short of the first down. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Here's Bryce Barringer on now to punt. Now a high kick, almost a pooch punt. Fair catch called for and made at about the 32-yard line. Well, pretty woeful there, just 23 yards on the punt. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. And with 10 seconds left, not really enough time to put something together. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. shot here before half that's caught by Myers and out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45 so at halftime it's the Patriots with the advantage as we send you to our EA studios in Orlando here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports halftime report all right Brandon back to you too in just a bit but first welcome everyone to downtown Orlando and our EA Sports Halftime report. This has certainly been a fun one to watch so far. We knew this was going to be a battle, but we have not been disappointed. This is the kind of game that could wind up hinging on which side can play mistake-free football the rest of the way.
One touchdown is the difference. 17-10 our score, and we are back underway on EA Sports. This taken in at the goal line. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The Raider offense ready to go here to start the third quarter. Well, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 19 yards there on the catch and run. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. They fake the give. Now Garoppolo looks to throw. To the sideline and incomplete. So the pass goes out of bounds, but he was not outside of the tackle box when he threw that. He's got to be careful. You and I both know if it's even close, they're going to give it to the quarterback. They don't want to throw that flag unnecessarily. So if you're just in the area, you're going to be okay. On second down, they'll run with White. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. situation it paid off yeah you go to your veteran receiver in that spot so you can't underestimate him when he's on the field defensively make sure you know where he is because he understands how to get open in key situations so into Pat's territory now here's first and 10 as they've got it to the 28 yard line he goes right back to Adams that's complete so five yards here five on the play and it's second down Now back to the ground game with White. And now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. Defensively, though, they had a chance there to hit him for a loss. Couldn't get it done. Looked like someone was able to knife into the backfield, but he wasn't able to get him down. But his compatriots, they were able to grab him at the line of scrimmage and not let him get any further downfield. Garoppolo. Complete. Fine work by the Patriot D there, and it's fourth down. Nice call by the defense there on third down. Just flood the field with extra defensive backs in their dime package. Nowhere to go with the football. Forces the incompletion. So off is Garoppolo, and in comes Daniel Carlson for the Raider field goal. He hit his first. This one from 40 yards out. The kick by Carlson is good, and that will cut this lead back down to four now. It's 17-13. So they were facing the deficit coming out of the locker room at intermission, and at least they're able to get the field goal to cut into that deficit. Yeah, now your offense feels pretty good about itself, right? A little bit more up to speed coming out of the break. You turn to your defense now and say, hey, we got three there. We're chipping into the lead. Can you help us out? Hold them. Let's get the ball back for us. to the main field goal. Carl Sedell sets up to kick this away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. 
So here are the Patriots now. They get ready for their first possession of half number two. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at their own 18. He'll hand it off to Elliott to begin the drive. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Hustling through to break that play up, Max Crosby. I thought he did a nice job there setting an edge and make sure nothing could get to the outside. But he decided that wasn't enough for him. Worked his way back inside and made the tackle on the ball carrier. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Running left is Stevenson. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. 80 yards on the ground so far for Stevenson and a first down. No surprise to see Stevenson making that type of a play. People know him well. Unsurprised to see him over 1,000 yards this past season. He's a bruiser who was also fourth among backs with 69 catches. He can do it all in the New England offense. Back to Stevenson on first down. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. On second down, it's Stevenson. Pushing forward for three up to the 48. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. Here comes third in the length of the football. Operating from the gun, Jones. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Able to get what they need to keep the drive going with a six-yard pickup on third down. That was simply snap, rock, and fire. I mean, they didn't take long at all. Slant route, and I loved where he put it. He put on the body of the receiver low so that only he can catch it. Yeah, I don't think there was any magical formula there. Defensively, that's just tough to defend. Very much so. And that way, it allows the receiver to keep his body in front of the defender and not allow him to go through him to knock the ball away. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Ball on the 39. Here's second down and three. A give for Stevenson running right. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Off the bootleg, Jones. Got a man, it's Brown. So the completion good for six yards, and that'll bring up second down. On the handoff, Stevenson. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Ramondre Stevenson, a nine-yard touchdown run. And the Patriots are able to widen their advantage. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give them a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. Extra point by Ryland up and good. And that pushes the lead up to 11.
Back out is the kicker, Ryland, and he'll send this one away. Here's Carter now on the return. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. The Raiders offense ready to go. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. They'll start the drive with a give to White. And yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. Then he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom, quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Well, they had the run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. On play action, it's Garoppolo. It got his man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Colton Miller, former first round pick, called for the penalty there. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Looking to throw Garoppolo. And he's got his man in stride, complete. A gain of eight there on the play. And that's going to lead to a third and 12. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Throwing is Garoppolo on third down. This is screen to Abdullah. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. And that doesn't have to gain big yardage to be an impactful play, because if you can get those pass rushers second-guessing themselves, that they might get hit with a screen, maybe you can wind up slowing them down just a step. And if you do that, that's a win for that play. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. We'll take it right on the 30. So a change of possession here on the punt. And out will come the offense as they take over. Offense gets set to go, and there's Ramondre Stevenson. And you see the last drive, great chunk of yardage, the touchdown on five carries. And offensively, everything just looked in sync, didn't it? It did, and, and the reason that it was in sync is because it's a combination of play calling, game plan, offensive line marrying up with all of their blocks, but don't forget the receivers out on the perimeter. Any type of a long run, the receivers have had a hand in that because they've occupied people downfield. And of course, give the big credit to the man with the football. Great vision, good movement, gets to the end zone. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that will pull you out of that spot that they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mousetrap. But it's hard to do because if you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards him. And that could have been the lifeline they needed. This is a play that could have been made. Instead, it's just going to fall incomplete. Out of the gun now on third down. That is caught. And he will have a Patriots first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. This is a nice job of just taking what the defense is going to give you on third down. You're not looking for a big play downfield. You just want to find something that can get you past the marker. They found it and were able to keep the drive moving. Now flags come in. Looked like one of the Patriots might have moved. That flag accepted and it backs the offense up a little bit. Still first 
The false start backs him up five, first and 15. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. And this will be taken across midfield and into Raider territory. It's a five-yard pickup, so essentially they get the penalty yardage back, and it's back to second and ten. Well, partner, they've been running it well the entire game, and the big guys up front, they're a huge reason why. And now they're reaping the benefits as they continue to open up big holes and gain nice yardage. Stevenson gets it again on second down. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so? Because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game. Now Jones on third down. And that's going to be incomplete. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. The Patriots send out their punter as he's on to kick it away. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. The Raider offense now making their way toward the huddle. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Devon Gancho up to make the tackle. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down. And you know what offenses want? Win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. Opting to run again here with White. And he'll manage only a couple here up to the 25. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Las Vegas. Welcome back, everybody. And this offense on third down today, they've struggled to the tune of two for eight so far. This will be third and six. He'll let this go for Adams. And that's caught inside the 35. Touchdown, Las Vegas. Devontae Adams, 75 yards. And the Raiders have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. No, we're not cheering. No, we're not rooting. But I am excited about this. I know you are, too. We got a ball game again after that big-time strike. Big-time strike, and you are right. Don't go anywhere yet. This thing's not done. Here we go now as we get set for a big two-point conversion. Garoppolo looking to throw for it. And this is caught. They got it. And that could be an important two points. It gets them back within a field goal. Well, I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call. And he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion. And now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves. Touchdown, ready to kick it away is Carlson. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. 
And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Now the Patriots gearing up to go now. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and ten. Throwing to start the drive. Jones checking this down to Stevenson. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. From the 22 now, here's second down and seven. Throwing Jones. This complete to Henry over the middle. And Henry's going to pick up a Patriots first down as he'll get this up to the 32. It's a nine-yard gain, and it'll keep the drive moving. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Elliott running right. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Now Jones. Over the middle, he's got Parker. And Parker's going to pick up a Patriots first down as he'll get this up to the 43. A couple of first downs has the football positioned at the 43 as they come up first and 10. They'll try the left side with Stevenson. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. End result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game, or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. They stay on the ground, but this time it's Elliott. And this will be taken across midfield and into Raider territory. It's a six-yard run, leaves him with about a foot or so here still to go to hit the marker with third down coming up. This drive is turning to an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. They sure went against conventional wisdom, calling a pass on third and inches. Had to be thinking to themselves, the defense is going to overcommit against the run. Should be an easy pitch and catch. Didn't turn out that way. The Patriots send out their punter as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And that is very well done there as this will be marked out of bounds at the five-yard line. The Raiders' offense now, they trot back out. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth-quarter lead. You need to get the ball away here in the fourth quarter while you're just holding a slim lead. But that punt, absolutely ideal. They pin them inside the five-yard line. They give their defense a really nice opportunity. On the ground, it's Jacobs to start the drive. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. And that run there does nothing but juice up the guys who are moving the football. I mean, if you're an offensive lineman, people running it, actually the guy calling plays, you're almost jumping up and down jubilation, aren't you? Yeah, now you've got options on second down. And big time options. You might want to think about play action and try and get something cheap right here over the top. Shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. 
use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Garoppolo now. Very quick throw. He's got Myers. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Right about 20 yards on the pickup. Well, officially, they'll say it's going to go for 19. Well, this offense hasn't been at their best here. They've made some mistakes. They've been frustrated. They've been largely shut down. But then you look up and say, wait a second. This is a one-score game. So they're still very much in this. And they're on the move here with a first down. Garoppolo now. First down throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Adams. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 46. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. Going quickly there, but it's incomplete. And their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Now a second and ten. They'll run right here with Jacobs. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. And they'll come to the line here, needing nine yards to pick up the first. Throwing now is Garoppolo. Look in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Patriots' 24-yard line. Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there for the nice pickup. First down, Garoppolo. And his throw here is incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Second and ten. Back to the running game with Jacobs. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. There's no question that coming into this game, this defense was pretty vocal about his desire to take this running back out of his game. And all that pregame wolfing has turned into results. Play action, Garoppolo. He's got his target. That's complete. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And passing yardage-wise, now up over 350 in this game. Pretty nice performance. Definitely that, which usually means you're putting a lot of pressure on guys trying to cover. If you're a defensive back and they put over 350 yards on you, you've had a long day. The key to everything, if you're doing it without throwing interceptions or turning the ball over. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Now Garoppolo on the bootleg. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Austin Hooper, the intended receiver, but now it's third and goal. Here 
Here's Garoppolo to throw. And he will throw this one out of the back of the end zone. It's incomplete. Great defense there on third and goal. They took away everything. Forced him to fire that one to the sideline where no one could get it. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. From the left hash, a chip shot here. The kick by Carlson is good. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. When you talk about clutch, that one was right down Broadway, and this game's all even here in the fourth. Yeah, he didn't leave any doubt, did he? Good snap, good hold, dead center. Almost like a big-time golfer in a major, firing at a pin from the fairway, trying to win the tournament going down the stretch. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. New England trotting into place on offense. And we essentially have a brand new ball game. After that last field goal has tied us all up, we brace for what should be an exciting rest of this fourth quarter. Jones and the Pats now with a first and 10 at their own 21. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Now the pressure comes and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. Tyree Wilson using that athletic ability to make the play. And when you see a quarterback retreating away from the line of scrimmage toward the other goal line like that, usually doesn't end well. You're exactly right about that. Normally, if they're moving from side to side, they've got a chance maybe to get back upfield. He was trying to shake defenders and extend the play, but it doesn't work out very well for them at all. You need those extra yards on the other side of the line of scrimmage. Now you're digging a hole for your offense. Jones throw into the hands of Henry here. And he'll be upended at the 18. That's a very helpful pickup of nine after the play began at the nine. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Looking to throw. Jones. Open man right side is Smith Schuster complete. And this will not get close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the 26. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. The Patriots send out their punter as he's on for the fifth time here today. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return, and we have reached the two-minute warning. The Raiders have the ball back, and here comes Devontae Adams to the field again. Seems like the measuring stick for a receiver for a great game is 100 yards. Well, he's well past that now. And as we analyze how he's getting him, that's where it really becomes fun because, let's face it, they keep sending coverage at him, keep trying to put the pressure on, yet he finds ways downfield and finds openings. That's a really crafty receiver. Garoppolo on first down. Taken down. <laughs> to throw is Garoppolo. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Dietrich Wise running through and dropping him for the sack. So, Brandon, we sat in with a lot of coaches, and when they talk about things they want to accomplish offensively, I'm not sure that sack and sack are on their play sheet.
Boy, here's a big one. You can just feel it. This is third down now. Running straight ahead is Jacobs. And oh, he caught it up. And now this ball picked up by the offense. But here in the final two minutes of the game, this will be blown dead. Only the fumbler can advance the football. So this will go back to the spot of the fumble itself. And I believe the referee's been buzzed. Yeah, they want to take another look at this call, and it's certainly a big one here late in a tight game. And the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. Here's A.J. Cole now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. That's pulled in at the 32. It's a 47-yard punt, but they did give up 10 on the return. And the Patriots take over. New England's offense set to go. They need to get this around the 40 on the other side to get into field goal range. Look at the clock, a decent amount of time here in a tie game. What do they do? No panic situation at all. They've got to get a couple of chunk plays, pick up nice bits of yardage. Target the sidelines. Target the sidelines because you want to get out of bounds and make sure that clock stops. Because if the clock stays running, that makes things that much tougher for you. It can always bleed out on you. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Plenty of time and two timeouts still at their disposal. First and ten here. Again, it's Stevenson. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as it comes with exactly a minute to go in the football game. They come up now on second and two. To the right side, this is Stevenson. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Well, the black hole and everyone in Vegas on their feet. Here's third down now. Straight ahead at Stevenson. And he's going to get this one down to the 30. Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stopped them for almost no game. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to almost certainly win the football game. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. I guess we can call that a welcome to the NFL <laughs> moment right there. And he came in with open arms and knocked it through. Yeah, how about that? It's almost surely a game winner, right? And you know, rookie kickers, usually the leash is kind of short, isn't it? I think they went ahead and got that extended model for him now after making that kick. So after the field goal, Ryland back out as he'll send this one away. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23.
They'll come up first and ten here. Back to throw, Garoppolo. Throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. They'll come up now on second down. One final try now for Garoppolo. Pass complete, it's Adams. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Well, it took us until the final play, Charles, to officially decide a winner. Although on that last play, they were so backed up, it would have taken a miracle, and they couldn't get that miracle done. Well, I like how you stayed with it because we both knew that this had to go down to the last play and neither side was going to exhale until that play concluded because we've seen the improbable before. A couple of laterals, maybe some poor defense on the back end. They might have gone all the way to the end zone. In this case, though, it didn't happen. Perhaps next time. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say so long from Las Vegas.